Hey, it's Jessica, and just wanted to show everyone that the gerbils are back in their 29-gallon tank. So you can see how tall it is. Same length and width. I just put them in so they're digging around. So it's a mix of the clean and cozy and the boxo, like always, and his ED. So I put this house just on top. So I can still kind of reach this. They finally got through their barrel roller, so there's a ball and two end pieces somewhere. This is new, I just gave it to them. Um, I buried this massive bridge log. It was one of the ones that were in um, Brownie's cage, but she doesn't need two of them anymore. As you can see, there's Brownie's log. So it's one of those ones, which is the medium size from where so it's huge they're definitely not gonna be able to like bite through it but it's pretty much at the bottom of the tank just curved and like a bridge so they can tunnel through it and do whatever they want but I like it because it's like really thick wood I was thinking maybe putting the food bowl there just because then it won't really get buried because here's their food I just filled it so yeah, yeah, if I put it there, it might stay there. Clean sand, clean water. All I gotta do now is give them like a handful of hay. Oh, I got something going already. So let's give them some hay. This is their old tank. Flash isn't on, so you won't, this won't be a good view of anything else. Here's my hay box. Stay. This might make a mess with one hand. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. A little bit of a mess. Then I can vacuum again. I vacuum the top. The screen was dusty, so I just vacuumed it, which I'm sure they didn't particularly appreciate, but whatever. Now your food bowl's buried in hay. Over here. So I think this will make them happy again, since they've been trying to burrow so much in the 20 and they can't really. So yeah, it's just a quick update. Um, I'm not sure how many inches this would be, but once they start burrowing, I'm sure it will fluff up. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask, and thanks for watching.